had to change. Okay, let's move on. Uh, one to, more thing, Judge. Yes, sir. You, in the old new business, what have we uh, ever decided on the fire grams? As far as, far as what? Or money wise on the bleachers. I never got any formal. We, we, I'm, I'm talking about we haven't discussed that for three months. What? Well, are we going to be able to help them out? Well, well the, here's, Jerry, if you'll remember, the discussion from the court was that if they were going to accept the money from the state uh, Department of Agriculture, that we wanted to bid the bleachers out right. to a public bid process. And that route wasn't chosen by the fair board. I just okay. But, but all this back they never did get they never did get a bid bid out. No. Uh, I never got a formal bid process done uh, because it wasn't our project. It was their project. And uh, Keith and I'm understanding met with. Uh, Keith Metcalf and Brad yesterday, Jim, I don't know if you were out there or not, uh, to discuss a building a concrete pad. So okay. I think they're going to try to do a lot of it in-house, I think. I haven't got the full details of it yet, Jerry. So I don't have a formal presentation that's been made to the court. Okay? But 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 you did get to be a done, right? I got a secondary price on um, what it would cost to do it, yes. But it wasn't a formal bid process. The county Chris court didn't get anything. We didn't get anything. We're not I involved. got a presentation from uh, Keith Willett, our maintenance man, who's on the fair board, uh, that uh, BCD gave him a price to do the whole project, and it was X number of dollars. I never got a, we never advertised it, never went through what we consider the county's legal process and our procurement code. And that's anything over $20,000 you advertise, unless it's an emergency. Okay. That's all the court had. I think the court was willing to work with help them, but there had to be that process. For they'll, they'll, they'll be coming to us and asking any kind of work, and it'll have to be approved with Dean on grading out for the pad and building the concrete and stuff like that. Hey, you, know that they, <coughs> you understand? You know what they're talking about? Yeah. But there'll be some any kind of work if, 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 again if it's approved with but, you guys. Okay. So Keith took that. I said Keith, not this Keith. Yeah, Keith Willard took upon himself, and Fairport took upon themselves. I guess. I think and they've ordered the workers working through this themselves, right? I think they've ordered. I know they've ordered the bleachers. That's for sure. There's just the pad out there's got to be cut and built, and it's it's not. I actually would suggest it probably would be a better project if they wait to add to the fair time to do it, but not go through this process like we did on the. Um, Pavilion, or, uh, uh, not pavilion, but what's it called? Grandstand. Grandstand. Yeah, I've never, I always get those two terms mixed up. And we had to rush try to get it done. Not rush, we've been that one out. We've been that one out. So everything that we deal with, we try to go through that process. And they got another I'd say if the fair board takes a hold of it like they have with this grant, it was their decision to do with that. If they need any more money from us, then we may have to go through the procurement plan you said well, they, well, well they've gone too far almost now if they've already ordered the bleachers they got a pretty good concrete slab to build out there right yeah now. they got about what twenty thousand dollars worth of concrete work to do probably i'd say so yeah. concrete labor labor did you ever do the yard job okay i forget what he said. jerry I'll, I'll find out from the president or president if he plans to ask the court for anything in formal or writing i've never got anything formal from them uh, anything else before the court anything out here before we go through the uh, budget process or review what's that keith i said i'm pretty content i'm getting a lot done <laughs> you ought to be no, they like to pick it out. Everybody bring their budget or want to just want to just bring anybody have any let me let's just push this way so we don't have to go through the line item or line item. Hey, are there any recommended changes to the budget process? Not personalities, not not this and that. Is there any equipment, property? Oh my gosh. I'll ask you guys to take his red pen away. Yes, sir. Yeah. No, I don't find out. Here's some, I was going to ask you some on that pension. We probably have a project. <laughs> uh, anybody have any questions on the budget? Anything they want to add? Just, uh, 
I'm going to just start thinking after this uh, soft meeting is going to come in. Will we consider maybe having a fund, uh, just an account for the salt, and use it as we need it to replenish it instead of making a line item every year that we figure out a, something else to do with it at the end of the year? On the what? The, on the salt, salt budget. Just have a fund that we can replenish as you instead of a line item every year. Well, I, I, I'm thinking out loud now. You know, if we use, if we use say, uh, a week, last year we put in for 1,200 tons. Or we we, we, we have to order. I think. we got to tell them how much we want. If it goes over, we don't get any more. Right. And our contract does allow us not to have to buy it all. Well, we may get some more. I'm talking about just having, for that price. just having an account with a, no, no. with X amount of dollars in it that we use for salt. Instead of having a line item in the budget every year. Yeah. I think about the process you're talking about. But you how, how would you work budget that? Well, just based on the historical data. I mean, same way we budget it now. You would make a guess, right? But how would you put it in the budget to do what you're saying? Just have a fund. I mean, There'll be a fund. line item in the budget that says we have salt a, fund. Yeah, I mean we have it we have that for and every year it'd be a hundred thousand dollars. Utilities or yeah, whatever it is. Well, I take it that that way. Yeah, I really don't. But you're, but you're saying not to be able to pull it out of the cap to make a capital project out of it. We don't spend it. Well, yeah, I mean, we can use the money uh, for the next year if we don't have to. It's just like the last two years we haven't used much salt. We find out if we need to buy a truck at the end of the year. Right? Mm -hmm. the same way I would do my house. If I had money at the end of the year and I felt like I'd, I've been putting off a new pickup truck or a new something, I would do the same thing. It's not that big of a deal to me. Yes. I think that we had. Let me think through on that, okay? We can always transfer it out. Okay. Oh, it's just that's in a line what, item. That's what we do. You guys yeah. didn't have to spend that money. We don't have to spend it. In fact, in this current budget year, you didn't spend it. You no. Over the next year. You was going to loan it to me for my project. No, you didn't take it away. Next time. <laughs> I understand what you're saying, Dallas. Uh, loaded capital becomes a little bit easier. And, and it becomes, you, it's like Santa Claus, you become a little bit spoiled in doing that. Yeah. That's that Mr. Conservative, isn't it? <laughs> Do we need to have anything in the budget to get Wickland Drive blacked off this year? I did not put anything in the budget for that. I think it needs to be. That comes out of first district's money. Oh, that's a government. Let me look at our current budget and see if we got any money working in. It's in your district. Now, so you can do that. Okay. Yeah, we wow. Five bucks. Now I have put it uh, through through another grant through the um, uh, without getting the cat away. Another foundation uh, a grant to, to redo some of the window work that they want to get done after you know the window sashes and stuff needs some repairs. So I think we'll have enough money to do all that. I just another grant like that in it or something. Well, yeah. I'll look at it. We fixed it, widened it last year. Yeah. It's got several. Yeah, it, 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 it'll use it all right. Yeah. I've got it. How wide is it? We widened it. No, I don't think we widened it to 20 and it was getting 18. Two cars in past that. Yeah, two cars in past I think it was 16 maybe. It was 12 when we went to 16. And, and it's, a little it's, it's bigger in the front than it is. Yeah, it's widened. You get buses. Yeah, we put a new cover underneath the front of it. Uh, we're buses. prepped. We're ready for a new overlay. Everything's. All the groundwork stuff. Who's got left by company left from this, this current fiscal year? Not by this, we're getting more cool. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You never did blacktop it. And now you <laughs> handed it over now. But I will take charge. I will blacktop it. I have to, but I'd like to put it uh, in the budget. Anything else? I have nothing okay. else. Okay. Well, well next, uh, due to advertising procedures, we will have a second reading uh, at our next uh, June the 14th. It has been approved by the state. It has been approved by the state. That's what we're kind of waiting on. You understand that process, guys? That, that we have to get DOT approval before we actually have a second reading. Yes. Uh, the other thing I want to report on uh, at our uh, what last fiscal court meeting ago, we talked about the pipeline that's being proposed coming through the county. Mm -hmm. That generated a lot of interest, uh, both pros and cons. I can tell you, as judge, there's probably not been any more interest in a project. Uh, controversial or either, either way for a long time so uh, I expect at our next court meeting if indeed the, the Williams Pipe Company does come to uh, Barstown Nelson County that uh, we will have a pretty good sized crowd at our court meeting 
what I plan to do is go through our regular business meeting first and try to dispense most of that first. And uh, we would have a meeting at the Civic Center, a fiscal court meeting, if indeed they are going to come. We'll try to get that confirmation uh, as as soon as we can get that confirmation and do another public release, like we did on this past time on it, to make sure that the folks there that uh, have questions uh, want to talk about it. We'll be able to ask the questions to the right away folks. We've got some neat, sneaky suspicion they're still gathering. Probably not sneaky, but that's just what they've told me. They're still data. Uh, they're running into some roadblocks with property owners. Uh, I know that for a fact. And they are trying to see where, where their alternate routes are now. So they'll run into those little blocks. I don't think you're going to see an alternate. Yeah. The less people they have to deal with, the better they they not travel. But and that's the reason for going through the larger. Part oh, I understand. Yeah. But there, there, there's one like I told individually, one of the large track of land I've talked to this property owner, and he's okay with it. And there's another large one that's not okay. So they're going to work around and those that. And it'll be. I was thinking about this fellow. It, it'll be set here on his neighbor, his neighbor's yard, and his neighbor's property, and, and downhill is his property. So that his pill is going to go down his property anyway, probably. So, uh, it's a double-edged sword sometimes. Just like the, the water, the, the uh, cell tire out there in Quarry Lane, burn on, you remember that or not? Uh, they wanted to put one on the old quarry site, and the court said no, and they went next door and put it right beside us. So, you know, it, 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 they'll, they'll work around it eventually. Had you been determined they have a any Domain powers. No, there's no. been no determination on that. It's kind of been a, uh, uh, well, they just won't answer the question directly. So. Well, the Abbey could send a contact to me this weekend and I gave them your note. And they've got several. <coughs> they want to come to the meeting. They want to voice their opinion. So as quick as you know, I would like to know so I can. Oh, we'll, we'll put it out. Oh, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to put it out if I don't think they're coming. It, 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 we already thought they were going to come today. Right. And I, and I advertised it on Facebook, and then after I seen y'all meeting Friday, y'all changed it. So they put it change everything. We didn't change it. They just they initially said, "Yeah, we'll read every bells and whistles," and then yeah. when I called to confirm, they said, "Oh, we can't." If they were smart, they wouldn't have a public meeting. I don't think you'll ever see it. No, <laughs> I, I can tell you, I've, I've been through these public processes. And there's usually an angrier bunch there than because the ones that are in favor of it generally are not they're okay with it. They're staying home. They're not suspicious they'll get there and there's one main paperwork. They'll have to if they not first fight on it. Because there'll be two or three of them will do it three or something like that. And I'm thinking that you're right. They'll they'll get several people along this route that that agrees and once that's done, the rest of us nailed and stop them. It's gonna happen. It's gonna go through those that agree to it. Yeah. And it's going to go through the ones that don't. Once they agree the process, the rest of it will be nailed down. You mean when they go through the eminent domain process? Yes, that's, that would be my suspicion. Now, which one of the news reports with that? <laughs> <laughs> my good buddy Tom. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> what is he sneaking out for? <laughs> the one away. I'm just glad it wasn't church and I was giving somebody was giving a sermon. Motion to to uh, dismiss or what you call it. Adjourn. 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 I'll get in here. I'm, I'm not in school, Ella. Second by Jeff. All approved, say aye. Uh, uh, disapproved. Most of them care. Thank you.